Bon night. Uh, so here's something a little different. I'm beginning this video in the evening, where I normally would do them in the afternoon. But what's really different this time is I have a lot more products than usual. Before, I haven't gone above six examples of junk food in a single video. Today, as my final video where I will try junk food here in Angola, I will give you nine, nine different examples of junk food. So that, that sounds pretty exciting, and if I don't want this video to be 20 minutes long, I, I better get to the products, right? Okay, uh, let's do that. So we begin with some nuts, two varieties, and both of them are paracuca, one con coco, and the other con jindungu. Now, I, I'm not sure if I've actually ever had paracuca on its own. It, it's, it's a nut it, that has been covered with sugar. Uh, it says it here on the ingredients. Ginguba, azúcar, coco y aroma. Oh, aroma. That's my favorite part. Wow. So, coconut is already a nut, isn't it? Like, isn't this some kind of weird hybrid going on here? Putting the two together? I, I don't actually know what to expect from this, but... We'll see how coconutty it is. Hmm. Hmm. Not really coconutty. I would say the paracuca is much, much too strong and overpowers it. Let's try Jindungu. Now, I've tried some other nuts with Jindungu, and they were uh, a little too hot for me because like, they, they just weren't pleasant to eat for a long time because you would start watering up from it. You never know with something that says that it's Jindungu, just how hot a Jindungu is it, because sweet chili here is called Jindungu, and sweet chili is not very hot. But, you know, like, jalapeno is also Jindungu, so... That's an interesting mix. When you first put it in, it's really hot on the tongue. But then the sweetness kicks in, and that it ends up kind of pleasant. It's weird having the sugar and the hot jindungu spice at the same time. But that, 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 that was good. Really unusual. I'm sure I'll enjoy finishing the rest of them. Let's move on to something else. So, as you saw on the card, the, these things are not particularly large. These seem just slightly smaller than the sort of candy you would give a trick-or-treater at Halloween. But they were sitting at the counters out at Keru, so I decided to give each of them a try. Now, the, the most unusual thing about them is that three are called Nut Bar, and then the other is called Red Bar. So I think red bar deserves some special attention, that I should try red bar first. What makes it red? Milk compound chocolate filled with hazelnut flavor cream. Well, we've established that I like hazelnut, so I'm good with that. Okay, I think it's instructive to show what it actually looks like. It's just this thin piece of chocolate. The hazelnut isn't very strong. It's just really sugary. You, you just taste the sugar. Well, let's try this next one. What do you claim to be? Milk, milk chocolate compound filled with 
hazelnut. How are you different from the red bar? You look identical to it. Hmm. It isn't as sweet. And there's something about it. Can't quite put my finger on it. What makes this one different? But it does have a richer flavor. Hmm. Can't really compare it to anything else though. Alright, on to the blue one. Do you, do you even say what you are? I guess I should have paid more attention to the display, because the display said what the flavors in each one were. Though so from the packaging, I would assume that this one is coconut. Well, I'm going to give it a bit of coconut. Ah, broken half, but that's okay. Hmm. Sucks that this. this one tastes like coconut. So good. It tastes like how I expected it to taste. And on to the last one, the pink, which is strawberry. Strawberry not being one of my favorite things because I was allergic to the actual fruit strawberry for some time. But I don't don't imagine that this will make me sick. Hmm. Hmm. Wouldn't have guessed strawberry because it it's just this very subdued fruity flavor. That sort of generically fruity taste. Hmm. More of the strawberry comes out as it dissolves, but it, it isn't a very strong strawberry. If this was a full-size chocolate bar, though, that, that would probably be pretty considerable. Okay, that, I'm already six down. Let's move on to the next. I... I... I, I want to know what this is. Camponesa? I like... My, my dictionary tells me that that means that it's something rural. So, so, so what, is this the equivalent of saying that something is country-flavored, whatever the country is? I mean, the, they say that the English name for this is country recipe potato chips. Uh, potatoes, palm oil, tomato, vegetables, spice flavor, sugar, onion powder, salt, wheat, dextrose, ooh, dextrose, okay. Hydrolyzed proteins of soy and corn, tomato powder, garlic powder, ooh, acidifiers. I like my some acidifiers. I also noticed that this is written in proper English, that is the English that comes from England. So what do you know? The the old alliance between the English and the Portuguese is still active. I know it, it has this kind of pleasant aroma. Smells mostly just kind of like vegetables. <laughs> like walking through the vegetable section of the supermarket. Huh? Give it a taste. Hmm. That's good. I, I really like that. It, it has a very Strong taste, a bit piquant. It's it's good. It's not jindungu by any means, but it I, but I can see calling it country. I think it tastes closest to like a sour cream and onion chip. Maybe that's just because the onion is the strongest thing coming through. But good, by any measure. On to the next. Okay, am I cheating with this one? Because this one is Nestle. And I'm pretty sure that with Nestle, I, I could just buy this in Canada. 
I mean, in Canada, it probably won't come with a wrapper written in Portuguese, but one never knows. Still, I have never had this in Canada, so I count this as junk food that I had for the first time here in Angola, which is kind of my mission statement with these videos, since I couldn't get exclusively Angolan junk food at the start. But this is dark chocolate. Chocolate preto. So, I, I like me some dark chocolate. You'll have noticed that this chocolate bar is by far the single most expensive thing that I have put on these videos. Uh, you saw that total, right? Yeah, that, that's a bit high compared to everything else. I never buy chocolate bars that are this expensive. I, I w don't think I was thinking straight when I took it off the shelf, because normally my, my limit is reached well before that. Still, I, I bought it. I'm going to eat it. I, I'm just not going to eat it all at once, not when it cost me that much. This is one that's going to take a few days to be finished, which I think is how you should do it with these deluxe chocolate bars. And they're, ooh, so fancy packaging. Ooh, I come in a silver wrapper. That makes me more delicious. That makes you feel better about all the money that you dropped purchasing me. Well, looks to me like a nicely chocolate bar, dark chocolate. Should be pretty good dark chocolate. Mm-hmm. Oh man, yes. I really developed a taste for dark chocolate back when I worked for an Italian restaurant. They were always giving me dark chocolate to take home because, well, they loved it a lot. So I really developed a tooth for it. And yeah, this is, this I can tell is the good kind of dark chocolate, the premium kind. So yes, I, I will be enjoying this one over the next few days. <laughs> And let's move on to the final product. I regret not having more pop to give you this time. I thought at the beginning, oh, there's so much pop here in Angola, I should be able to have two in every video. But a few things happened. Uh, one, that I discovered so much of it was maracuja, and, and as I established early on, don't really care for maracuja. So a lot of the pop that I saw lining the shelves, I was just, well, I'll never buy that. So it became harder and harder to find things that I hadn't tried. And as well, you have the age-old problem here in Angola, where just because you see it on the shelf one week, that doesn't mean it'll be there the next. I literally went in one week to buy some pop for a video took note of all the stuff I hadn't had yet, and, and went, okay, I'm, I'm just going to grab two this time, and, and I'll be back next week for the rest. I came back the following week and got this, but the other one was now completely out of stock, and I have not seen it for sale at any of the other shops, even though it was a Planet label pop, and you can find Planet in any shop, right? In the Angle Mart, but uh, it's a shame. So, sadly, I have but one pop to give for my videos. Still, this one is the Zip Limao Gengibre. So, this is lemon ginger. I've sampled some of those on these videos before. It's not really my thing, but it tastes okay. The question is always just how strong the lemon is going to be, because I find that the lemon percentage is just a little bit too high, enough to make it unpleasant, especially if the pop has gone flat. Mmm, that's good cleaning fluid. Yeah, this... This is much the same. Mm-hmm. The ginger is not that strong. The lemon, it just overpowers it. The... the you, you, you gotta tweak the formula, guys. A, a little bit less Mr. Clean in this bottle would do so much to improve the body, I think. Uh, but what do I know? I am just a Canadian who's been here in Angola for the last year, 
making these junk food sampling videos as a way to pass the time because I, I didn't really know what to say to you people about what I was doing here in Angola. So I, so I ate junk food because it, it was an excuse to get out of my house, go to a shop, buy something, and thereby utilize a little bit of my Portuguese so that I got more comfortable doing it. And I considered that interacting with culture here in Angola. So these things have been kind of funky. I'm happy you guys have enjoyed them. It was a pleasure to bring them to you over this last year. All right. The vlog is not finished. There is going to be more vlogging before I am done. But for now, fiend, no more junk food videos, okay? Even if I find junk food that I haven't tried before, even if that stuff that was out of stock comes back into stock, um, I'm just gonna pass on it. I have had enough junk food. Back around December, I lost a lot of weight. I seem to have put it back. I'm not sure how, maybe because I've been doing a junk food video every week. So yeah, I'm, I am doing pretty good, I think. Thank you so much for your time. Ciao, ciao.